And hello from Saudi Arabia. We find ourselves today at the King Fahd Stadium in the city of Riyadh. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And we have live Pro League coverage coming right up. It's Al Nasser, and they face Al Hilal. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And the flag does go up offside. Not what he was intending, bad pass. Not a lot to be positive about where Anderson Talisca is concerned. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Struggling to keep the ball. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Strong but fair tackle. Igalo. Al Ganam. What can they do from here? And return to Anderson Taliska. Takes aim. There it is. The first goal of the derby. A special moment. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. A really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw in. Salem al -Dosseri. Now he must favour the cross. Big chance to get them on terms. Nicely blocked. And the counter looks on here. Options available. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the card is out and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. of power but just too much height on it
Cuellar. Mateus Pereira in possession. And dispossessed. Moving it forward. And space for the cross. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. An alert piece of defending. He's played it out over the touchline, so a throw-in to restart things. Alert defending. Anselmo. It's a Bubakar now. Al Ganam. Well, you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Salman Al Faraj. And there it is, the half time whistle. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Very difficult challenge to perform, but he succeeded. An important interception. Well, no stopping him, but quick thinking defensively. Abubakar. Well, far too much elevation there. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Jang Hyun Su. Mateusz Pereira. It's with Igalo. And the attack looks promising. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Al Shamari. Top class defending. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Into the box it goes. Well, it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. Do they mean business on this occasion? And let's give credit to the defending. 
Not a great challenge. Free kick here. Well, he was flirting with trouble, but the referee has decided not to hand out a yellow card. So a personnel change then. in the world but the goalkeeper equal to it takes the shot and he's kept it out fully stretched somehow reaching it favoured a short one here that's a useful cross able to deal with the threat well the host as you can see haven't enjoyed the majority of possession but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking it's been a really good performance from them so far nicely timed tackle just failing to hit the target with his pass and it'll be a throw-in. And time for the change now. Al Shamari. Anderson Taliska. And it's with Anselmo. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Mohamed Kano. Michael. Kano. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Andre Carillo. Oh dear, not a great effort, was it? Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. And he's broken free. Not a particularly strong... A goal! He's dispatched it! Much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create... space for himself and once he gets onto it he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique what an emphatic finish that is well a second goal for them here well the electronic board showing three additional minutes well time just challenged magnificently and he's made headway an important challenge but they must remain organized that ball was put into the right area, but no one able to capitalise. The referee blows for full time, it ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Already no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.